Hello there. Hey Cancer, how are you feeling today? Let us have a look see. Let's have a look see how Cancer is feeling today. Welcome into my channel, Cancerian. I want to take this time to say thank you for uh, supporting my channel's growth. I'm at uh, 800 subscribers and counting. Thank you so much for that. All right. Some of you may be going through conflict. Right now, we just want to get some messages out for you, Cancerian. All right, so I feel conflict with the five of with the five of wands energy. <laughs> of course, someone is spying here, watching you. Something may be coming into you swiftly. This may be you needing to focus, or is focusing. We're about to see what you're focusing on. What's Cancerian? What's the jack of spades? What's the focus? You're focusing on, hey, I just got chills. Uh, the queen, I just felt like an energy literally cleared up inside of me. Literally just, just dissipated or, I don't know, ignited perhaps. So you're focusing on the queen of cups, Cancerian. This could be someone watching you. This could be someone that you've blocked from a past connection because you're ready to move on from a change. Maybe you were in a situation where there was a lot of conflict or quarrel or just things manifested that weren't pleasant experiences. Always in, a, in, in contention, defending yourself, wanting to speak up. Maybe not even speaking up for yourself. Maybe there wasn't even room for you to really express yourself here. Right, so I feel like maybe some of you decided Cancerians to dive deep into your heart space, maybe to disconnect from a love, an external source of love, and get into your own heart space, get to know what you want, um, deciding what experiences you want to have. So, some of you could be focusing on becoming a better version or the best version of yourself. Queen of Cups energy, so being passionate being creative look we have another swords energy i feel like you're you are in queen of cups energy i mean queen of cups is one that it's is loving nurturing mothering committed abundant actually very abundant beautiful radiant very uh modest as well or humble or just that kind of energy where there's not in a, like for example the queen of wands energy would be one that is very uh what would we say out in your face very attractive that kind of fiery energy very sexy or whatever the queen of cups is more like this beautiful subtle energy attractive and alluring but not not emboldened with it or bold with it gosh me and my words so not very bold with it, but just more subtle, more beautiful, like the moon energy, exactly for Cancer. And it's here, and I feel like just like the moon, someone is looking onto you here. Maybe someone you blocked, or someone you need to block. Maybe this is uh like I feel like you're what you you also have an eye on your past energy. Maybe you want to block this. Let's see what the King of Swords is. What is the King of Swords? Eight of Pentacles. So it could be that you're focusing on work. You're focusing on putting in the work maybe for yourself, for healing, healing your heart, healing yourself, healing your integrity, your self-esteem, your sense of self-worth, working on you really, putting in that work on your internal self, your love for you. So even though you're actually, you're glowing, you look like the moon, you'd never imagine that behind all of this, there's so much focus and work being done on you. All right, to heal the five of wands energy. Clarify the five of wands. What is the five of wands energy? I feel like if I go into it, I'll be digging into your past, unraveling things here when you're trying to literally put a lid on it. But if I go into it, it's like I let what's in the barrel out. We got the Ten of Cups, the new beginnings. I feel like it's saying switch up the focus in uh, to, 
to close the cycle or close these it feels like um not instead of diving into your past but actually creating something new from the past experiences so before it was conflict and now we have the ten of, the ten of cups which is new beginnings in love so i feel like you're looking to create something new through the past experiences that you had all right what is the ten of cups energy what is the ten of cups the ten of cups is literally happiness new beginnings um love wealth prosperity joy and abundance there's a lot of love in many different areas of your life i feel like what you'll be getting like the rewards of having gone through whatever pain you went through circumstances in your life you're going through some process here cancerian and it's um as if you're creating a new beginning out of it all right it's like you're it's like alchemy energy where you're using the the, ex, the negative experiences to formulate a new life for yourself so without the, it's like without having these negative experiences you wouldn't know what life you want to create for yourself so i feel like that's the energy you're in or need to be in when it comes to focusing whenever these energies arise which is um, what happened in your past i feel like you need to be more intent or intentional about the direction of your life the new beginnings that you wish to have Instead of playing the feelings over in the same way, the same hurt, the same experiences, whatever trauma it feels like to you, I feel like you need to, whenever it arises, you heal it immediately with the King of Swords energy. So be on top of that. Heal it immediately. Work on it. Get to working on yourself whenever these feelings arise. Breathe also. Right? Breathing is good for you. Breathe in. Breathe into your heart space. Breathe your value and your self-worth into your heart space to create like a brand new feeling around the past right because that's how the breath works for you and then messages all right queen of cups let's see what this jack of swords is or jack of yeah jack of swords what is this jack of swords what is jack of spades someone looking in literally it feels like a person looking in to you a suitor I feel like it's someone admi it's they're admiring you but it's not the three of hmm. could be a Leo Virgo um, I mean a Leo Sagittarius Aries fire sign as if this person is focused intently upon you, maybe wanting to have experiences with you or they they want to have you. It could be a business too. It could be someone looking to start a business with you, right? Because this is third party. So I don't know if I should say this person has a person already and is looking to come toward you or they have a business already and is looking to partner with you. So it could be business related. It could be the friend of a friend, that third party energy, right? Like someone looking, that someone knows you, that someone you, someone that you know knows this person, right? And they're looking at you, looking how radiant you are, honestly. And even how protective and defiant you are of your radiancy, of your energy. I feel like this, this is an admirable quality within you. Let's continue. What is the Jack of Spades? Any other messages? No, oh, but this per look another three. What the heck? Listen, this is the three of diamonds. For me, this is the sun card. Uh, it could be business, material prospects, um, um, business prospects or potentials. Maybe someone watching you at work. I don't. Maybe you're at work here. I don't know. Feels like you're just in your zone, your comfort zone. I don't feel like you're struggling or doing work it just feels like you're it's like literally when the moon is up in the sky it's it's doing its thing right it's being of service but it's it's like it's just being who it is mm -hmm. so that's the energy you're just being as beautiful as you are you're also focused and that's another energy that it's like there's this turnness to you or a focus 
or this internal there's just something deeper within you that's maybe a mystery so having to do with your past as if someone may be trying to figure out why you are this way who you are they're trying to see into maybe your past what you've been through that's making you like this but this oh my god i love it because we have two threes so as i said is someone maybe wanting to align with you for material success definitely a business potential here for you cancerian this person watching you so whatever you're doing i'd say keep doing what you're doing cancerian maybe this person is coming into you swiftly with an offer let's clarify further all right you may be successful in business i just don't why is this person watching you and not making a move yet it could be that they're just just observing you to see your potential but maybe more i feel like to see in your past energy not just your past but this person wants to know who you are you know it, it's not even remember it's not necessarily a romantic attraction it could be something that you're doing that's just your natural way of being oh my god it literally feels like someone looking at a star just trying to figure i know how it sounds i know but it's like someone is using a telescope to try to peer into something here look at this hmm? trying to understand it this person could be a scientist that's the energy like a like a scientist that likes to cut likes to see through things likes to analyze this person is very analytical so they're really like literally penciling you out like looking at you trying to see through this yourselves they want to see what you're made of perhaps like they're studying you this person could be studying you is that literally using a telescope to look up at the moonlight or the moon itself to see what's there like with a bit of curiosity and this i can't explain it this could be your guides your spiritual guides or someone trying to communicate with you but they come with three of wands maybe they're bringing in something and the three of pentacles something having to do with work as if oh let's clarify the three of pentacles clarify the three of diamonds please what is the three of diamonds what is the three of diamonds here what is the three of diamonds for cancer I feel like it's just clear cut and dry. It's a business potential. Look at that. A business potential. It's clear cut and dry. And this business interest might turn to love. Maybe. Who knows? Maybe something that you love to work on. Business here. Maybe someone, it's a, someone will become attracted to another person. But as I said, it's clear cut. Like it's a business potential. It's as if someone wants to give offer you a position. That's and they know it's about like it's going to make you financially stable. Like they know what they're offering. Look, they're coming with this, but they're looking at you to see what's going to happen first. So be mindful of that when you're working or out doing being yourself. This person could be air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This person could be a recruiter. Looking at your profile. Okay, what is that for of swords? Hmm. Feel like something is in the making for you it's in the energetic of energetic realm in the making 
like not it's like in a dormant state it would seem dormant but in the quiet of the darkness something is coming into being and then you know just before the sea burst up bursts out of the earth that's the feeling because i glimpsed the ace of wands so i feel like something is in the in the energetic field like working whatever you're working on you could be working silently but there's about to be a new beginning what is this person coming with we see money but what is this business opportunity the nine another nine here this is going to make you happy the nine of hearts so we see financial stability and we see emotional happiness and satisfaction right hey all right they want to make a move i don't know like maybe a donation perhaps but it's just maybe they want to donate but they don't want to just donate they want to see who you are first but the donation will be more like business a business type of offer all right cancer and thank you so much for listening we have the seven before i go we have the seven of um we have the seven of pentacles so i do feel blessings like something is is working out for you when it comes to your finances so maybe if right now it seems like it's not and it's in a dormant state as if your money and your abundance is just not multiplying it's about to my advice for you would be to just be continue to be who you are um working work on yourself continue to be persistent all right um breathe i don't know i feel like breathing is really important for you and i feel like saying thank you for that thank you for breath so maybe give thanks be more grateful um right <clears throat> i just i want to clarify a little bit more the queen of hearts what is the queen of hearts energy Distractions. What is that? So you you're moving on, or you've moved on, moved away from. You're creating. You're growing. Wow, you're growing. I I literally feel like you're. Oh, you're oh yes. I literally feel like you're a flower that growing you know beautiful flower growing mm. 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 honestly this nine of swords does not feel negative when it popped out i think if i think about it maybe too much but it feels like because i say you're growing this feels like it's not earth but it feels like the stamina or the force that causes you to push it like it's that extra force that you needed to come up out of the earth that this nine of swords represents so we have three nines three nines here so it's either you're, you're getting new beginnings in love in money in your sense of stability so some you're growing so wow i feel like you're literally growing six seven eight so you had a new beginning you're about to flourish maybe um more financially financial prospects coming into you we have the ace of diamonds the two of diamonds here so i feel like you're growing moving from five six seven of wands energy queen of wands energy here so i feel like you're very confident um you know that's the energy i feel like you feel now that you're growing you can feel like you're growing no like you're an active flower just 
growing up this person is seeing you growing watching you grow as a flower and there is like they still want to study you what kind of flower are you how do you have this fragrance um where do your colors come from why are you like this i feel like you're a very unique person oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god mm -mm. oh i feel like you, the way you grew was not easy hey look at this because the nine of swords is saying to me the way you were the, like you are like you feel very unique to me i know everyone is unique but it feels like you're a special kind of flower and the way that you had to grow was very different and maybe um in in while going through certain things you're wondering if you're going to grow you're wondering what's going on with your life you know that ugly duckling story right but then it turns out that the duckling wasn't fitting in or wasn't the same because it's a swan hello you know what i'm saying so your growing up was maybe difficult the way you grew up perhaps your childhood perhaps even in your adult life the things that you had to endure but i feel like it's because you listen i can't explain it. it's because you're different like this person feels like a scientist that's observing you like it's your like you're a kind of flower that grew different from the rest of flowers and maybe everyone was thinking that something what's going on with this flower even yourself right but then as you grew you're become you're so radiant and so beautiful this is the queen of cups and so you're growing and people are beginning or even yourself you're beginning to see who you are as a flower you're beginning to be, identify yourself as maybe I'm, i don't have to fit in with the dogs because i'm a swan or i'm different you're beginning to love yourself more appreciate who you are beginning to know who you are so that's the idea with growing as if you're growing into your own you're seeing your beauty your trueness and it's beautiful six five six seven all right ace queen all right we have three four oh my god we have three four five six seven ace three four five six seven all right so you're ascending you're literally growing as a flower i love it you're beginning to know who you are and and it's coming it had it came through the experiences that you had to endure they caused you to really focus and work on yourself and you're you're so strong i feel like you're a very powerful person also so keep doing what you're doing and um expect good things to come into you here because i feel like people are look lining up so it could be people your abundance is lined up out here for you any other final messages what is the ace of so what is the ace of diamonds ace of diamonds clarification money money oh something oh money that was stolen or taken or being brought to you tax the money perhaps you know this is solidity groundedness foundation stability we have the jack the jack of hearts <laughs> I feel like so someone wants to return something to you also with an apology as if they took this from you and this would be your stability yeah and it's not for it's like when someone steals a certain key and they thought it would open doors for them but it can't because it's it's literally your key like what is yours can't be for someone else I know they have to bring it back to you with an apology and it, it comes with your abundance. So maybe I don't know who this Jack. Who is this Jack of Hearts? Jack of Hearts clarification. We have the final nine, nine of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Maybe this person didn't steal. Maybe they want to bring back something to you they want to give you something maybe it's new 
maybe they're seeing that this is this is the, the part or the accessory that you're needing and want I don't know why they may want to offer this to you but it's going to also it's the, the key that you need to unlock your abundant potential your abundance potential maybe this person is maybe doubtful that you you'd let them in so what is the seven of swords what is the seven of swords it's the seven of swords hmm. I think it's a way, it's a tool. It's a service tool, perhaps. What is a jack of hearts? What is a jack of hearts? What is a jack of hearts? It could be a person from your past that you had an ending with. Tense of Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. What is a jack of hearts? Mm. Okay, could be a past person, definitely on your past this person is probably financially stable and abundant wanting to come in I don't know say I'm sorry or just offer you some offer you something money perhaps love but I don't feel like this person is single it could be business it could be like they, you are in a situation with this person and oh my gosh this is your past person that wants to come back into you that's why you're watching it watching them watching whatever offers they're coming with you literally do not trust this person they may want to send you a message you may block the connection you may just be look do you want this offer from this person I don't know should you take it maybe that's why they're watching you see that you've blocked them okay they came to you appearing to be the king of pentacles like hey i got love but they were like broken too i feel this person was broken and they were coming with with other connections they weren't single they didn't have their life together they weren't free and free single and disengaged they weren't but they came to you they offered you love or whatever but this ended i feel like you you're ready to cut this connection off zips or you already did because this person is hanging by the side over here and you're still happy but there's still a lot of uh, heavy burdens here with you okay that you bring around i can feel that even in the way you want to block out your past connections I feel, still feel you you maybe take hurt with you and betrayal but you, you're still wearing a smile you're still radiant so maybe this maybe this person if this is a new person wanting to come into you they're watching you they're seeing that yes you're smiling and you're doing you're being you but they they want to see your past energy I think they want to understand how much of your how much your past really affects you you know I feel like you're very you're strong you're strong you have all that it takes there's still something weighing like all of this is weighing on you and if you want me to remove it I can physically just take them and push them to one side for you to clear up your energy if you're ready to move into the new and attract new prospects into your life this person to me feels narcissistic so if they are the one that wants to come back to you it just feels like they they know how to put on a face to make you feel sorry for them so even though maybe they took something from you and not wanting to return it's as if they may want you to feel bad for them when it was yours to begin with but you're wanting to put the past behind you. Look at you. You're looking forward. Your eyes are full. You're expecting. Some of you could be pregnant. I don't know. You're expecting. And pregnant could be with child or with abundance. You're, you're, or your business taking off for you. You're, you're needing to block out this connection. Literally. We see a lot of swords energy here. Some of you have already moved away. Moved past focusing on your happiness and let the past remain here look at this all of this 
let it remain here whatever is here even the happy moments because there's still a lot of you maybe that's why you are holding on to the past because it's still connected to you because there, there's happiness here right but there's also a lot of baggages right so now what you do is so you're looking forward while you have your team of angels spirits protectors your sense of your integrity and you use that to keep the past out of your experience until you you wind up just drifting away from it all right so meditate and breathe if you really because I, I feel like when the past is here it feels like you're not able to read it's like it, it's what it's because remember all the cards were here it's like it's almost wanting to dim your light out but without the past i feel you're, you're able to shine in another direction when the past was here it felt heavy and crowded and a bit frustrating like because there wasn't a lot of clarity and you like there's a lot to deal with but without it here it feels like new but you feel so like you're wondering who am i without my past what do i have to hold on to then what is my identity without it so maybe that's what's keeping you from moving forward you're not ready to let go yet because look you're still holding this even though you're you're focusing on your future what is this just right here in front of you this thing is just as if you can't even see because this thing is just literally spying right at you you're not even move out of the way i know it's, it says it's coming with it, abundance but why is it that it's so in your face maybe it's almost it's almost here with to you in your experience so Oh, also, when, when the past is not uh, always in you, you're able to use your intuition more, yeah. Because when it was here, it's like there wasn't a lot of intuition because it's just so much conflict. But without all of it, you're able to use your intuition to move forward and to see what's ahead of you, how to make decisions in your future, in your present, so that you can move forward. And even when you... Um, release your past I feel like it opens up space to receive more so what I feel like you're afraid of letting go of this past energy because I don't know so cancer here's what I'm going to do I'm going to kind of uh, inspire you to look more in your future you don't have to try to let go of the past yet you know you can you don't have to forcefully try to release it but let's see more let's see if um you see more of what's in your future then we'll see what happens so we're gonna pack up this past energy here i'm gonna pack up all of this store all of these stories put it back in the deck and see if we can create something new within your future What is cancer focusing on ahead? It's coming up for cancer in the head in the future. What's cancer is focusing on? Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh, what's cancer focusing on? <laughs> gosh. So maybe some of you want a past love. Hey, this person could be a fellow water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Maybe this person wants to come into you. This could be soulmate energy. But I do feel like this, this kind of this, this thing here. Maybe it's your financial. Maybe you're focusing on money. It's too much in your way. You know what I'm saying? It's too close up. You need space so that you can dream and create and manifest. This thing needs to be at a distance viewing you. It's too, it's like when you're reading, you're reading, you're watching TV up close, like 
like this is how close this person is in your face like maybe they have their phones up to their face looking at you i don't know but give us give cancer some room that cancer visualize and manifest and create you're just what are you unless you're about to manifest through this let's see if you can manifest through this what is this can one cancer manifest through this what is this energy manifesting through this energy hmm. can you manifest through it okay uh okay I feel like it will help if you, you know, when you have a, a central line of vision, one focus, and it could be one focus for your future, what you want your life to be, your family, your money, your financial prosperity, your, your love, your new beginning. So it can cut right through this with the 10. And I feel like this energy could also help you to focus instead of being distracted. Also, it may, might help you to focus more because it is so up in your face and you want to see past it. You're about to see right through it. Can you see right through it? Oh, hmm. You can see right through it. And then we have the six of, the six of pentacles. Six of Pentacles energy, stability, groundedness. I just be, feel like you're becoming, you're beginning to know who you are in purpose, in soul, in mission, in self, in integrity, in deeds, in actions. Right? What you want, the way you speak, the way you're expressing yourself, your value, your sense of value, you're moving onward. Maybe some of you long to connect with your past self. But there's, because you're still happy, I feel like uh, it's as if you know you're about to reunite, reunite possibly, that's your aspiration, probably reunitement with a past person. This could be a soulmate from a past life connection. It's just an energy, it could be this person that's in your past life connection. Right, a person that you once had a beautiful life with. Maybe that's why you went you if you experience um if you experience a lot of failed relationships or whatever, it could be that you're waiting on really like you're waiting on your soulmate that you you were once with or you know is manifested here for you already. Alright. This person could have been a love a love the love of your life. Perhaps and your your heart knows who this is, so don't fight it, don't rush it, and allow your heart to love. I feel like this energy is not a threat. I feel like you're bigger because you are the queen, backed by the king of cups. So if this energy is up in your face, it may feel intimidating. Like for perhaps, like for example, a paparazzi versus a celebrity. So sometimes the celebrity gets intimidated by paparazzi, right? That's the energy. <laughs> oh my god. Oh god. Don't don't make your head swell up, cancer. Alright. I'm just reading the cards. But it's like you know that energy of even though you may get intimidated by something that thrives off of your energy, paparazzi versus celebrity you begin to realize because this, this this is a confidence here you're very confident and brilliant confident and brilliant here so it's like you're not being faced by these flashing lights or these people wanting to look peer into your life right you're not afraid of that uh mm, maybe you do work maybe you do work that people observe maybe across the internet and people are looking to see who you are and you're like you're smiling you know like you can't face me with your whatever you're doing looking into my life because I mean I feel like it's the way you give the service that you provide right something that you do 
you can cut right through it by also emulating the energy of wealth already or of well-being of being uh, able to share to give without being depleted or feeling depleted because you know where the energy comes from within you all right so I feel like you're always going to be abundant in love I don't see the ace of cups I see the ace of pentacles but I see the two of cups and I see the queen of cups I see the king of cups the nine the six the one or the ten So whatever you're working on and moving toward, the outcome will be wonderful for you. Keep using your intuition, keep giving value, keep being beautiful and confident and radiant and emotional and supportive and nurturing. And uh, yeah, be the best of yourself. And then I feel like things work out for you. Hmm. Intuition. At the eight of swords. It feels um. I don't feel it's negative. I feel it's more like it feels like skill. <sighs> it feels like skill. It feels like I'm literally getting the vibe of. It's like ninja but not ninja it's more like a martial like an a martial artist or an expert at something so you can do something with your eyes closed with your hands behind your back and you're like it's a test for example to see how quickly you can untie yourself with your eyes closed and your hand be, or you how quickly you can untie yourself to do something but you can and you know you can you know, that's the energy behind this Eight of Swords card. So in case you feel trapped, Cancerian, and you're looking to untie yourself, no, you can do it. It's not like you're placed in the position to make you suffer. I feel like you're there because see it as a competition or a game. Because I feel like Cancerians like competition to see how quickly you can do a puzzle. Cause I like puzzles you know I like interpreting things I like maths I'm not good at maths but I like maths because it makes me use my brain and I like to figure things out how things work so if you're like that and you're in this position I feel it's for you to figure out how to ask to come out and it's a challenge because it's a challenge but you can do it all right so it's not negative i don't feel the negative it's, and it's about to make you even more stable that's how i feel and that is what led up to the nine then the ten and then the new beginnings if some of you have already gotten through the situation where you felt trapped you had to use your sense of identity your sense of self your identity your sense of love knowing how to hold your own hold on to your love hold on to your pearls your pebbles your precious right protect your energy your sexual energy your love energy use your intuition and ask for change speak up speak out speak clearly to manifest okay and um i'll leave your message here i didn't even touch the tarot cards oh and on the bottom i love this we have strength so this has been a playing card reading thank you so much for watching i wanted to say um okay yeah i'll be doing a live reading on my facebook page or i'll be doing live readings on my facebook page uh so look in the description box if you're interested in, in liking my page so that you can know when i'm going to go live and um we will go live and then we can familiar we can get to know one another and you can ask questions and i'll try to because answer well i'll answer questions using my cards and we can have fun here while healing so these are your messages cancerians thank you so much for being here 
on your way out i know it's been long and that's why i'm going to go live because live readings can be up to an hour and with no problems with uploading i'm going to upload this i'm going to then do another video using our the tarot cards and then we'll call that a day but this is your weekend special cancer and i hope you found messages here that resonates with you and is able to help you along your journey thank you so much for being here much love to you always all the best on your journey namaste did i say on your way out like share subscribe to my channel hit the like hey thumbs up go ahead thank you and uh share the video with your fellow cancerians in your groups or your social circle those that you love and subscribe to my channel to be notified whenever i post up new content for you if you'd like to get to know me more or any other questions that you because I understand, like, if you want to just feel familiar with me as your tarot card reader, you may ask questions. Um, and that's it. Thank you so much for all of your love and support. And much blessings and love to you. And I'm out of here. Bye.